I am Chad the Cyprian and in today's video we are going to talk about why most people stutter, fail in speech therapy and what to do about it. Have you ever gone through speech and language therapy or any kind of traditional treatments for stuttering with no or temporary results? Are you interested to learn why that happens? Here is why and what to do about it. Speech and language therapy or any traditional treatments for stuttering is probably the first and the most common treatment option which is preferred by people who suffer from stuttering. It is probably the most popular stuttering treatment we choose to go through on our first attempt to solve our stuttering problem. I say first trial because people who stutter usually don't get the results they expect from those stuttering treatments. Therefore, they try other stuttering treatment alternatives one after another. Most of us, me included by the way, start this quote-unquote the journey of hope to get rid of stuttering with speech and language therapy. It might be a private SLP, stands for Speech Language Pathologist, a well-known speech therapy program, or a speech therapy clinic in our city or university. In my case, I tried all of them with either no or temporary results. To be honest, I never heard a stutterer telling me, I went through speech therapy when I was on my 20s for the first time, and I overcame my stuttering. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Does that mean speech and language therapy has no value? No, that isn't the case either. So what is it? Why does that happen so frequently and causing us all kinds of negative emotions when we expect to recover from stuttering once and for all? After all, speech and language therapy has been around for years and the sessions are being held by professional speech and language therapists. The reason is one of the blow, or maybe the boss. 1. The specific speech and language therapy program or the traditional stuttering treatment you choose to attend was not effective enough. The traditional speech therapy techniques and applications might be very similar in general, but your speech and language pathologist and his or her skills are critical and plays a huge role in your success when it comes to achieving your desired outcome. You and your stuttering iceberg need to be analyzed and understood very well. If you don't feel understood and instead you feel more like a one-fits-all straightforward approach are being used on you, then there is a high chance that you lose interest in the program and you stop believing that he or she can help you. What I am trying to say here is that the name speech and language therapy should not be enough for you to make a decision. Who you are going to work with and whether they involve the psychological aspect of stuttering in the stuttering treatment or not are extremely important factors which you should definitely take into consideration before you make a decision. The second reason is you are not ready for the change. It might not be the right time for you, or the way you approach the problem may not be right. Meaning, it is not supporting the effective use of those speaking techniques. This is mainly about the mental side of the equation, and it is closely related to the inner game of stuttering. Before going through speech and language therapy, or any traditional treatments for stuttering, your expectations should be set right and realistically. One of the worst mistakes we make is going through a speech therapy program with the expectation of curing our stutter in a very short period of time by learning traditional speech therapy tools and techniques. You might think that those physical techniques are the solutions which will bring you fluency the next day but in reality, they are only tools which will help you to take yourself to fluency. 
I can hear you saying, okay, Chesler, I understand that those are the possible reasons, but then tell me what to do about it. Here are some tips and advices for you. Do your research in detail. If possible, go through a free one-hour consultation to meet your speech and language therapist before deciding on anything. Make sure you are in the right mindset and you set your expectations and goals right in a smart way. Ask yourself if you are ready to make a change in your life. If you don't have enough and very strong reasons to make it happen for you, then you will probably will not be able to experience positive permanent results no matter how effective the techniques are. And last but not least, I strongly suggest you to learn about the inner game of stuttering before shooting for any speaking tools or techniques. And the one last question you need to answer is, do you really believe that speech and language therapy is the way to go? What are your other solution alternatives on the market today? Especially now that there are a lot of those. You may want to consider them either in conjunction with your speech and language therapy sessions or just independently as a solution alternative which will take you to your ultimate goal. Hope this video helps and you be aware of those points and avoid some of those critical mistakes which would almost guarantee frustration and negative feelings when it comes to going through speech and language therapy and getting the results you desire.